standard 12th statistic part 1 with the chapter 1 index number here we'll start the exercise 1.1 which is given on your page number 15 let's start with the first question the data about the average daily wages of a group of workers employed in a factory in a city during the year 2008 to 2015 are as follow find the index number by fixed base method by taking the base year 2080-2008, chain base method, fixed base method by taking average of average daily wages of the year 2011-13 to 13 as the wage for the base year. And that's what the information given in the question. Now as per the question, the, there are it should be solved in a three method that is fixed base method, chain base method and the fixed base method taking average of average daily wages of 11 to 13 means from 11 12 and 13 I'll show you how it has to be solved now this is how you have to prepare the table just put the information which is given in the question in the column and when the question asks you the three matter it has to be solved like this the three matter have to be kept here I keep the one column to show you the formula for fixed base matter here we will take the value of variable of current year means the present year and the value of the variable of base year now in question they have given for the fixed base matter take the base year 2008 here is the 2008 and this is the base year when we solve in the fixed base matter value of variable of current year means the present year is 275 the same year and the base year is the same again we will take the same multiply by 100 the answer obviously this two will cut and the answer will remain 100 this is the same thing you have to follow whenever they ask for the base year if I uh, next is 2009 now again we will take the value of variable of current year means 284 will be the current year and the base year as usual we will take all time 2008 for this column when we will solve in the fixed base matter that is 275 into 100 the calculation has to be go with the calculator and here I found 103.27 next again the current year is 289 and the base year again we will take of 2008 that is 275 multiply by 100 105.09 next same way we will continue with the, with the remaining the current year will copy the same that is 293 divide by the base year this is how we will continue with the remaining for the fixed base matter continue with the next chain base matter now in chain base matter we have to take value of variable current year means again we will take the same current year here 275 and value of variable of previous year means whenever we are going to take for the when we are solving the current year 2008 the previous year will be the 2007 as you can see in the question 2007 value is not given so we'll can copy the same of, of the 2008 and these have to be done for the remaining questions as well if anybody they ask for the chain base and we don't have for the first first solution the previous year we just have to take the current year and continue with the same year because as we don't have the previous year amount so by this solution obviously we'll get the 100 i'll show you for the 2009 2009 current daily wages is 284 and the previous year value that is 2008 275 multiply by 100 and here we'll get the 103.27 next for the 2010 here i'll take 289 as a current year value and for the previous year 284 multiply by 100 and here we'll get the answer 76 for 2011 again i'll take the current year value 293 divide by the previous year 289 multiply by 100 this is how you have to go with the chain base method and we'll continue with the same 
here i complete the chain based method the next index number based on average wages now here value of variable current year will be taken and the average price of from 2011 to 2013 will be taken now for the current year we'll uh, continue with the same for the 2000 a uh, two thousand eight. We'll take the two hundred and seventy five, and for the average, we have to take the value of two thousand eleven to thirteen. That is two ninety three, two ninety seven, and three hundred and thirteen. This is how you have to first add them all the year uh, wages of the year two thousand eleven to thirteen as per the given information of the question. Add them and divide with the year. This is one, two, three years. Average we are removing, so you have to take the three. It's depend on the information. If they have given for the two years, we'll take divide by the number of amount and divide by two. It's depend on the how many years they have given. So here it is given in the question uh, for the three years average. If we divide, we find the average three hundred and one, and this is what the base for the index number based on average wages. That is three zero one. Multiply by hundred. Here we get ninety one point thirty six. Same will continue. Value of variable of the current year that is two hundred and eighty four. And divide by average that is three hundred and one. Multiply by hundred. Here we get ninety four point thirty five. Again for two thousand ten, I'll take the current year value that is two hundred eighty nine. Average two three hundred and one. Multiply by hundred, here we get ninety six point zero one. For two thousand eleven, two ninety three, and average three zero one. This is how we'll continue for the remaining. This is what the solution of the index number based on average wages, and this is the solution of three matter together. Moving to the next question. From the following data about the retail price of sugar in a city, find the index number of price of sugar. By fixed base method with the year two thousand eight as a base year, chain base method, taking the average price of sugar for the year two thousand nine and ten. In this question, they have given only two year average. Uh, average has to be removed for the base year price. So this is what the we'll continue with the solution. Here, this is how I have just prepared the table with the three methods and their formula. Now here will for the fixed base method value of variable of the current year that is twenty eight, and value of variable for the base year in this question again the base year is given two thousand eight. So again we'll continue with the same number twenty eight into hundred. Obviously answer will be zero. Continue with the next for the two thousand nine. We'll take twenty eight point fifty, and the base year again will continue with the two thousand eight value, that is twenty eight into hundred, one zero one point seventy nine. Moving to the next for the two thousand ten, twenty nine point fifty, and the base year will be the same as that is two thousand eight twenty eight into hundred. Here we found one hundred and five point thirty six. And we'll continue for the remaining. Complete the fixed base matter. Moving to the chain base matter, the value of variable of the current year that is twenty eight. Value of variable of the previous year. Now here the information is given from the two thousand eight, and we don't have two thousand seven, so we'll continue with the same information of two thousand eight. Here we get the answer hundred. Next question for two thousand nine, the current year value is twenty eight point fifty. And the previous year, that is two thousand eight information, that is twenty eight into hundred. Here we found one hundred and one point seventy nine. Next for two thousand ten, the current year value is twenty nine point fifty, and the previous year is two thousand nine, that is twenty eight point fifty. Multiply by hundred, that is one hundred and three point fifty one. Next for two thousand eleven, current year value thirty, and the previous year. Twenty nine point fifty into hundred, and here we get hundred and one point sixty nine. We'll continue with the remaining. I complete for the chain based matter. Now here the index uh, index number based on the average price of sugar for the year two thousand nine to ten. Value of variable of the current year that is twenty eight, and for average we'll remove here two thousand nine value and two thousand. Ten value. 
here we can see the 28.50 and for 2010 it is 29.50 here we get 58 and this is the two years so we'll divide with the two years and here we get the answer 29 so this is what we have to take 29 as an average for remaining years into 100 and here we get 96.55 again we'll take the value of variable of the current year that is 28.50 and the average value of 2009 to 10 that is 29 into 100 that is 98.28 moving to the next with the current year value 29.50 divide by with the average that is 29 into 100 that is 101.72 next for the current year 30 average 29 into 100 and we'll continue for the remaining this is how we'll complete the second question of exercise 1.1 moving to